What's the deal, baby? I'm rushing to the gym. Big Boss K. Poe here to talk to boxing part two. Terrence Crawford is not Floyd Mayweather. Let's talk about it. A lot of y'all keep talking about Terrence Crawford like he Floyd. You know, they 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 brought up the stats. Oh, the, st the stats say he's the least. Like, like I ain't know that already. You know what I mean? That's why I be telling y'all. And half of y'all, look, before you comment on my video, watch the whole damn video. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Go ahead and watch the video again. Listen to my words. I pay attention to words. This is why I said a lot of y'all didn't even make it through school. Y'all couldn't have. Because you have to listen to the words. You, If it's a rap song, you listen to all the words. Listen to the fucking words. You see what I'm saying? Listen to the words, bro. Anyway. A lot of y'all talk about Terrence Crawford like he's Floyd Mayweather. He's not. He's not Floyd Mayweather. He ain't nowhere near. He don't even fight like that. He's not even a defensive-minded fighter. He's an offensive fighter. Right? Now, granted, his defense is not trash. His defense is, is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But it's not on the level of his offense. Terrence Crawford is a great offensive fighter. That's what it is. Right? He's a great offensive fighter. But... Terrence Crawford is, doesn't really rely on the fundamentals. He relies on his athleticism and, 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 and grit and ego at times. Right? He don't use the fundamentals taught to you in, you know, in that boxing ring. He uses his athleticism because he's more athletic than a lot of guys he get in the ring with. We just got to call a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's able to do the stuff he could do. You know what I mean? So, and that's just to him fighting there. This defense gonna have to be good. You know, people talk about oh, Terrence be slipping and Terrence don't be slipping no damn punches. Terrence wanna fight. Now he'll counter you. You know what I mean? You know, but. And what I mean, I'm, I'm not saying he don't slip like he ain't slipping. Y'all talking like the nigga just, he be sitting there not throwing no punches, slipping. No. If Terrence Crawford don't fight like that. Terrence Crawford wants to hurt you. He want to get you out of there. He stands in front of you and he fights you. The only fight where he used lateral movement, he was moving around, was Victor Postal. Even the Sean Porter fight. He, he Y'all bring up that fight. No. He had to fight Sean Porter. He fought Sean Porter fight. And he ended up hurting Sean Porter. That's what it is when they found out he was losing. And I gave him credit for that because I said, man, that motherfucker found out he was losing. He said, fuck that, I'm not losing this fight. And he he sparked him. I named a couple fights where he was losing, and then he came out and was like, fuck that, I'm not losing. And he ended up sparking them dudes. Or he got hurt. And he like, I'm not losing. And he sparked them. That's what he do. Sean Porter, they say you losing. The next round, he get up, it's like he locked in. Oh shit, da, da, da. drop him, right? I gave him credit for that. Caribou fight, getting his ass jabbed off, getting hurt by the jab. Da, da, da. Made Caribou quit. Mean machine, dropped his ass. You know what I'm saying? Came out, he locked in. Da, da, da. You see what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford turned to a, you know, you ever seen a wounded dog when they get they, they back into the corner? That's what he turned to. And once he starts seeing he got some success, then he start moving forward again. But that's what it is. He's not Floyd, bro. If he come into this fight, and look, if he, if he get in that ring and he try to be Floyd with L, it's a wrap. I promise you that. I'm telling you this. He gonna have to throw. Terrence gonna have to throw in between L spin shots. If he try to do that stuff Floyd be doing, I'm telling you right now, he getting stopped. He don't fight like, matter of fact, he ain't gonna fight L like that. He don't fight like that. I'm telling you what's gonna happen. Terrence Crawford is gonna, he gonna be standing there, you know, he gonna get caught with a big shot, bow, and he gonna be like, fuck it, let's fight. I'm telling you this, that's what's gonna happen. 
And then Bo Mac gonna be like, and then and Bo Mac, hey man, just find your rhythm. Hey man, just find your rhythm. And he gonna sit there and try to go toe to toe with Errol and get in a fire fight and all that. Errol gonna stop that nigga. I'm telling you, the better inside fighter is Errol Spence. Bud need to stay mid range to long range. That's what he need to do. And use angles, throw in between Errol Spence's shots. He's supposed to be the faster fighter. That's what he need to do. All that other stuff y'all talk about, man, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna beat the wheels off Errol. It's, it's bullshit. It's cap. Now, if he do that, hey, man, like I keep saying in every video, you going to see me as a man come on here and say, hey, I was wrong about Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? I want to address another thing because I'm cooking. <laughs> a lot of y'all feel like, oh, man, you know, you don't support Terrence Crawford. I was a Terrence Crawford fan before I was an Earl Spence fan. I'm a fan of boxing first, and that's just what it is. So this fight, like I keep saying, ain't personal to me. I don't, you know, regardless, boxing wins <laughs> the winner of this fight. But I'm picking El Spence to beat Terrence Crawford because of the style. Styles make fights. I feel like El Spence style will be able to exploit Terrence Crawford's weaknesses. That's just what it is. There has to be a winner and a loser. That's just that's just what it is. I feel like El Spence is the better fighter. That's my perspective. That's my opinion. Straight up and down, no side effects. All that other shit about, oh man, you know, when 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 Arrow loses, don't run. I, look, if Arrow lose to Terrence Crawford, listen to this end part. If Arrow Spence loses to Terrence Crawford, you will see me make a video. Like I said in many other videos, this I know y'all not watching all this shit. Because y'all be posting these comments. Y'all not watching the whole video. You will see me come on here and make a video so I was wrong. But at the end of the day, this shit not personal to me. I can tell it's personal to y'all because I if Terrence Crawford loses, a lot of y'all gonna kill yourself. <laughs> That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't emotionally invested in this fight like that. You know what I mean? I I I want to see the fight. It's a fight that I want. You know what I'm saying? But all that other shit, like oh man, you go you go you go cry in the car. And, man, look, bro, I don't give a damn about none of that shit. Understand? This ain't personal to me. This boxing. And I'm picking L Spence because I feel like L Spence is the better fighter. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Errol's the better fighter. Errol's more technically sound. Errol relies on his fundamentals more. That's what that's why I'm picking L Spence. I'm not picking tell ter I mean uh Errol Spence because oh I, I like Errol. That's a that's 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 not boxing. And I know that's what a lot of y'all do. Y'all picking Terrence Crawford because y'all like Terrence Crawford. I'm picking El Spitz because he's the better fundamentally sound fighter. And I feel like El Spitz uh, has on big stages proven that he that dude. Each time he fight tough competition, he level up. I don't, I don't know with, with Terrence Crawford. I don't know. You know, but we'll see July 29th. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Bye, Scott.